try and catch the moment. Whoa, we got it. We got it, guys. Here it is. The AC-20 projectile. The injectable camera for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries by Ghost in the Camera, including a time stop feature. Greetings, MechWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see all of you here today in MechWarrior 5 with another mod video. It's not technically a mod, it's more like an injection. That means like a live code is loaded while the game is running. And this allows us to freely move around the camera and uh, be a disembodied camera floating around, not only on the battlefield, but also here in our dropship. So let's get this thing started. I've already loaded it up. I'm going to include, of course, a quick description on how to get this running right now. So here's how to use it, guys. Number one, go ahead, download the file from the link on GitHub. The link is in the video description below. Number two, you will go ahead, navigate to your MacWarrior 5 Mercs directory, and you will run MacWarrior.exe as an administrator. Number three, you will extract the files and ingest it to any old folder. Then you're going to start the injector file that you downloaded, the igcsinjectorui.exe. And the game process and the DLL should already be populated. The only thing you have to do is to just click on inject and a console window should appear immediately and that should mean that everything is fine and running and uh, now let's jump back into the game and i'll show you what we can do with this bad boy so let's say for example we're here in our dropship and the same controls of course apply to uh, the battlefield as well but the dropship itself is also part of uh, any other game environment so you can do the same things here so first thing we do is we will start the camera by pressing the insert button boom now all of a sudden you think, okay, now the game is broken. No, it's not. Controls of responding? Yes, because now we have to use the arrow keys and the numpad to navigate. Or you can use, of course, an Xbox 360 controller, but uh, I'm just going to use the numpad here. So let's fly a little bit, uh, maybe point the camera a little bit upwards, fly up a little bit, la 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 la. It's a little bit clunky. Um, I think it's a better experience with a controller pad, but yeah. So we just flew up here. We can maybe take a closer look at our Battlemaster right here, how it's being worked on which well, let's go a little bit back further oh this looks nice let's just stop time for a sec ah, i don't like that maybe here that's a better spark it's time to catch the sparks okay so the sparks stop actually the effects the effect is there but the sparks actually stop but this is a nice screenshot you have the nice amount of grit here on the battle master cockpit and as I said, you can just stop time whenever you want to, so you can get some epic screenshots of missiles coming in or PPCs about to hit. It's really, really nice. But what you can also do with this, um, I don't think a lot of people have thought about that, is uh, you can glitch through levels. So, for example, if you ever wanted to know where the hell is actually this dropship hangar, well, let's go for a stroll outside, shall we? Because we can. Boom! Oh, look at this, guys. There's an entire dropship here, floating in the darkness. In the darkness. Ooh, this is very creepy. Here's a dropship. Complete with some textures and whatnot, but there's nothing in here. I mean, the, the cockpit doesn't show and whatnot. You can't look outside. There's a planet back here. It is a, a white sun. And it's lit up a little bit, so that means there's some global light. Maybe coming from the top here? No? Okay. And I'm just gonna fly to these planets here. Let's go ahead and explore for a second. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, it's getting higher, higher and lighter and brighter. And are we flying into the light here? That's supposed to be a sun. Looks like it, complete with like eruptions and stuff. Nice. Okay, is there anything in there? There is something in there. What? <laughs> is that a door handle? Why is there? Oh, it's a piece of pipe. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is the jump ship. Aha. Aha. <laughs> So, the things become clearer now. These are the assets that are being used to show you those sequences. And there is our miniature jump ship. Very nice. I mean, of course, you can't go in there. This thing is literally tiny. Um, I even just flew past it. But it seems like all the assets are here. That's pretty cool. That's a trick used by uh, level designers quite a lot. But yeah, you can literally fly through this thing. So, we all now know that our jump ship sequence that we always see is... Uh, <laughs> Very tiny. I saw some other stuff here as well, I think. Just fly a little bit more. Um, it's gonna be hard to get the right orientation here. Okay, there's some some debris here. What is that? Ah, more debris. Okay. Okay, let's keep flying. So, here's our dropship in the shadows. But, I also saw something else, guys. I also saw something else. This is this weird 
factory-like shape in the distance. It's far away, as if somebody was hiding something there. Let's go ahead and explore. Let's find out what it is. And yeah, this is, this is what I'd like to do, guys. If I have free camera movement, I will go explore. This is basically the good old no-clip cheat. Um, I can't see it. Hang on. It's a little bit dark. It's very, very dark. But I hope you guys can see the shape in the middle. Huh? And we're getting closer to it, I swear. We're almost there. We're almost there. Is that a secret hidden mech factory? Maybe they're making weapons of mass destruction here. If it shows up on a US plant somewhere with a red circle around it, you know why. Let's get in there. And... a boom! Okay. Darkness. But it looks like some kind of runway. Some blue light. So, and, and a boulder or something weird? What the hell is that? I can't even tell what it is. Oh, it's, it's a cart or something. Okay. So maybe not a runway. Maybe... Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, aha! Interesting! So this is our before the mission mech hangar. Where we load in the mechs. Look familiar? It should look very familiar, guys. This is exactly what we see before we start the match. So this is the asset they're using for that. And they even have people walking around here. Look at this. There's somebody walking. Not standing still. Although it looks a little bit like a zombie. Let's check him out. Uh, hang on. Are you looking into the light right now, good sir? Actually, we don't have to wait for him. We just pause his movement. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's try and see who it is. Or no, 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 it's just a faceless goon. Okay, well, at least we now know that our mechs are being maintained and repaired by faceless goons. This looks nice. Oh, aha, people with faces. And then we're welding something. All right. I mean, they're not using a welding machine or anything. He's just using his hands or some weird tool, but hey. Okay, so we've discovered our mech hanger. Interesting. Is there anything else to discover out here? I wonder. Hmm. I see the dropship. I'm a little bit above the um, plane here, so we can see through the mist. So this is the planet we visited, quote-unquote planet, the sphere. There is the dropship model, or the hangar model. There's our dropship, and next to this is actually a... What is it, a black sun, a black sphere? I have no idea what it is. Let's check it out. TTB Explorer Extraordinaire. I should show you what's going on in game and how to use it on the battlefield, but hey, let's get into the sphere and see what we have, we can find here. Okay, there's literally nothing here that I can see. It's just extremely dark. Nope. I think we're officially lost now. Actually, no, I think I'm out of it again. Yep, there's the sphere. Um, and here is our dropship. I think I just got turned around a little bit. Like, literally turned around. Let's see if that's the case. Yep, we're upside down. <laughs> we flew looping. Oh, look at this. Nice picture of the Jägermeck. Very cool. Is that a Crusader thingy on there? Hang on. Yep. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, I stopped time, so if you ever, if you guys ever wanted to, like, be a little bit pervy and spy on Rihanna, of course you can do that as well. It's not gonna be interesting, though. She's just gonna be standing there. Hang on. I think I borked the controls a little bit. Why am I not going there? Hang on. Let me just, let me just reset the controls. Try this again. That's the wrong direction. Ah, right. Now I understand what I did wrong. These controls are a little bit hard to learn, but that's okay. Once you use them for a little bit, they will be easy to master. It's literally just one hand on the num numpad and one hand on the arrow keys. So here we go. Here is Rihanna in all her glory, thinking about all those endless possibilities of picking us up in Zimbabwe. Okay, I think there's nothing else to see here. Let's do a quick check here for a sec. Just get above the plane with the mist. There's the factory. There is the dark sun that has nothing in it, apparently. There is the white sun, and that is it. I don't see anything else right now. 
Uh, if there's anything else, if anybody else finds something, let me know. I'm going to take a quick dive below the plane and let's see if there's anything else down here. Well, all I see is darkness. And no, it's not getting any better. Okay, so there's nothing here. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead, guys, jump into a quick match and let's see the camera in action. Okay, guys, we're now loading into a quick match game. Let's see what we can do and abuse with our camera here. We have friendlies under assault from hostile forces. Link up with them. I just stopped the time. I enabled the camera with the insert button Be and then sure I pressed end to stop the time. Uh, I just wish I could stop Rihanna. Shut up, please. There we go. Okay, so we've now stopped time. We can now look at hopefully our mech lands somewhere, if I can find it, of course. Um, oh, there it is. Beautiful. So this is the camera angle that it is taken when they do the before the game screenshots. Um, but I don't like that. I like a different angle. So, we will do exactly that. Let's go back. Maybe go up a little bit. Go back a little bit. Maybe we go this way. Fall back a little bit here. And maybe take this angle. Or maybe you want to do something else completely. So, for example, you could go ahead and uh, increase the field of view. To literally fisheye. To literally so far away. That you can see yourself backwards. <laughs> Maybe not for a screenshot. But yeah, as you can see, you can increase or decrease the feed of view as you like. That is beautiful. Okay, unfortunately, this hook doesn't support changing the time of day, but you can do that with the um, normal tools that ship with the game. So basically, you have to press, I think it's Control Shift V, and then you have to use a controller, however, to make this work. So it's a little bit weird. I hope that we can get a mod very soon that will allow us to do both of these things at the same time but this would allow us to take a nice screenshot here maybe i want to go ahead and get in a little bit closer the control button actually is a modifier to move slower with the camera the alt button is a modifier to move faster so if I, this is the normal movement speed here right now if i press control ah, okay it's the same thing oh so it's just a it's just a switch apparently okay here we go so here with the alt button that's faster movement and with the control button it's slower movement okay Get up here. That would be a nice screenshot, wouldn't it? Of course, you can also tilt this thing. Make a little bit of a crooked screenshot. <laughs> it's also not, not a problem. The only problem is then afterwards that you get when you're trying to navigate here. Let's tilt up a little bit. Nope. Like this, like this. Go down. Down. Down, I say. That's about to go down. Okay. That's actually not bad. If only I have more light. But yeah. Let's go ahead. Take a screenshot here. Bada bim, bada boom. And uh, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Aha! Now we have full lighting. Interesting. So the lighting also took a little bit of time to get in there. Um, unfortunately, of course, now the formation is broken up, so it's not a good screenshot anymore. And the UI is here. But that's not a problem. We can always just go ahead and uh, hide the UI by pressing delete. That's a good thing. It, it also removes pips above uh, targets or teammates. So that's also a nice addition here. So let's play this mission for kind of a little bit and try to get into a fight and then let's see if we can get some good images. Here we go. Well, okay, we've got a good fire going on here. Let me get out of my mech here. I want to show you guys something real quick. Something important because it's a bug I came around because it's not, it's not necessarily a bug guys, it's just something you need to know. If you just pause the time while you're in your mech, um, you will be basically in pilot mode, which means that your mech's cockpit actually looks like this. It's literally you um, without a head, of course. There's no head in this uh, guy's cockpit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you, the headless pilot, <laughs> just sitting in there where the cockpit's supposed to be. So um, that's not a bug, guys. That is just because the entity looks like that when you're playing in first-person view, right? What you have to do is you have to disable the camera, go third-person view. Now we enable the camera. I pause the game again. And if we go back now, boom. Now it's okay. Because if, as soon as you go third-person camera, it basically uh, changes the model to what it should be. Oh, look at this. There's some missiles flying. As our knights start standing around in all its majesty. Beautiful mech. Let's check out those missiles. 
get over there. Hang on, hang on, yeah, yeah, okay, and move faster, yes! Oh, missiles in flight, wow, nice! Look at this, guys, hang on. Yes, we are the missiles! In order to become the god at Lurming, you need to become the Lurm. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of lens flare. Hang on, let's check this out. Each missile is fully modeled out, and they are actually looking good. This looks nice. Oh, look at this, guys! I mean, this is just a random pause that we just took. We've got... Look at this, guys. How cool is that? That's a Merrick Locust firing its medium lasers onto an enemy assassin, who in turn is firing something as well. It looks like SRM2 towards an undisclosed target, probably the buildings here. And he's just launched them. There's parts flying off. No, that's the assassin that launched the SRM2. That's the assassin that launched the SRM2. Because he's shooting it at, at him. Uh, there's a huge explosion here. <laughs> By the way, these explosion bitmap, these, these explosions, not volumetric. It looks like they're bitmaps. Yep, because they're moving with the camera. See, it's not a problem, but it's something funny. Like it's, these are the little tricks that you never notice. It still looks good, because it's it's uh, packed upon each other, right? But yeah, little tricks that you realize. But this just looks good, amazing, guys. Come on, this is really cool. You can even see that these beams, they fluoresce a little bit. Like, you can see there's some particles moving in there, teensy bit. How cool is that, guys? No more guesswork with trying to get screenshots. Just freeze the game. Okay, let's check out these guys here. Oh, he's just been hit by something. Look at that, he's burning. Oh, look at the lens flare. Nice. <laughs> Maybe this should be the screenshot here. I hope I have the screenshot right. Let's go ahead and bring back the UI. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit clunky with those controls, guys, but I've not been using this for long. Literally just for a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, look at that. The textures actually, they can look very good if you can get closer to it. It just sometimes looks a little bit too, too glossy. Let's have a look here at our gentleman in the Centurion. Nice auto cannon right here, and the Lurm Tens, and the medium lasers in the middle. A little bit of battle scarring already here. Beautiful. Oh! Further behind, look at this! And a Cicada in full run, being hit by helicopters. Check this out. This is one of those annoying helicopters. Oh, interesting, I didn't even notice that. They actually have like some things like turbines on the back. Double rotors. Very nice. This would also be a cool screenshot. Full attack. Very cool. Very cool. And here's the other one. So this guy actually missed with his laser. He missed, but the other guy didn't. Precision hit on the cicada leg. Can you imagine how cool this would be if you had replays from your matches? If you could actually do it like you did back in the Half-Life days demo, and then you just record a gameplay demo, and you could just play it back, and then you just jump out with the camera and just move it around freely. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Oh, there is a spider here, looking a little bit cooked. Those are the grain fields. You can also look, check out the grain silos because there's actually grain in them. Which is a nice detail, by the way, guys. It's a nice detail. Is there anything in here? Nope. Nope. Just buildings. Okay, we already know that. Let's see what we can make happen here if we fly out of bounds. How about we check that out? Hmm? Let's try it. Can we fly out of bounds? And the answer is yes, we can. The answer is 100% Obama yes. Okay. Let's turn the camera around. Okay, <laughs> and now you see why the boundaries are there. We are literally fighting on the ocean. <laughs> it's a nice graphic trick, but yeah. This is why level boundaries are there. So that you don't 
see the, exactly that. For example, I wonder if they hit some like little Easter eggs on those maps. That would be nice. Ah, I found the roots of the mountain. Actually, can we go a little bit deeper? Okay, let's check this out. Look, guys, I found the roots of the mountain. We are now in Pandora. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm using two hands now to navigate this because otherwise it would be impossible. You might want to try this with an Xbox controller if you have one. But yeah, so this is pretty nice. Let's fly even further. Let's see what we, what we can make happen here. TTB going exploring. And just look how gorgeous this whole thing looks. And I realize these are, these are rather low level textures right now on those mountains. And the mountains are rather low res, but... They're just meant to be in the background, right? They're not meant to be anything insane. But, turns out the map is actually quite modeled quite a bit. Hmm. So here's the next question, guys. Those clouds up there, are they actual clouds or are they just bitmaps? I have a feeling we'll find out in a second. Well, in a couple of seconds while we're flying there. Um. <laughs> I'm like a squirrel, aren't I? I'm getting a little bit distracted here, but I'm having fun with this mod. And it, which is weird, because it's not a gameplay mod per se. It just allows you to basically explore the world a little bit. A little bit more than it intended, and I liked it a lot. So, let's see. There are the clouds, and... Well... Okay, weird things are happening. Um, We're getting closer. We're getting closer, and... Boom. Okay, well, I think we just broke something. I have become God! Nice lens for this, but what? Is that a spherical planet? Is that a spherical planet around it? Cool! I had no idea. I'm used to like square boxes. This is round. Nice! Alright. So you could just go ahead and just fly back to where you came from. Which could be a painstaking process. Or, you know, you just press the magic button to disable the camera, and you're back where you were. Okay, let's see if we can get some other good shots here. Let's get the camera, get the time rolling again. Pause. I just saw a PPC shot. Let's see if we can catch it in flight. Ah, I think we're in luck, boys. I think it's right about to hit at this point. Oh, there's a flame shooting. Hang on, hang on. We'll check all of his art. Look at that, the PPC barely missed the flea. There's a locust. I can't tell right now. Hang on. No, it barely misses the locust and hits the guy on the arm. Check this out. And it's right at the moment of impact. <laughs> that is pretty. Look, it's even throwing some shards out the back a little bit. That is nice. Okay, let's check out the flamer action here. Um, no, he's just he's just cooking. No, no, it's not a flamer. He's just cooking a little bit. You can see the sprites disappear whenever you turn to a different direction. That looks nice. There's some LRMs being launched by our stalker. That's a uh, LRM20. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe that should be the screenshot. Yeah. In your face. This looks great. Uh, maybe a little bit... Uh, just a teensy bit backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And those are the lerms from our atlas. It shouldn't be lerms, actually. They're well, actually very close together, so maybe they are. Maybe it's a double salvo or something. Okay. Let's get this going. Got kind a of bird's eye view of things. Let's see what happens here. Oh, helicopter's flying down. My mechs are slowly engaging. Hey, anybody want to play Mech Commander? Also, my mech is walking somewhere, but it shouldn't be walking in one second. Uh, hello, there, good sir. Where are you going? Stop moving, please. All right. Now we can look again. Oh. 
Boom! I caught the moment of explosion. Wow. Nice. Also here is our friend again, this time a little bit further ahead in being demolished. I There's the Atlas going in. Lasers looking at him, but he's shooting with what is that? Is it is he shooting the AC? No, not quite. Okay, let's see then. Up, oh, stop it for a sec. Trying to see if I can maybe catch the second where he's shooting the AC. Let's get a little bit higher. Go back a little bit more. Oh, that's medium pulses, by the way. Or just medium lasers, I can't really tell right now. Let's fall back a little bit more. Okay, let's try and catch the moment. Whoa, we got it! We got it, guys! Here it is! The AC-20 projectile. Let's literally look at the size of this thing. Hang on. You see that? <laughs> wow, this thing lights up. You can even see where it's going. So it's also going towards the Centurion. So this guy should be murdered. Bye-bye, he's gone. Beautiful. Oh, and there's my mech just ghost walking because it didn't block inputs to the game. Which means it's, it's just walking around now. But there's a button, it's a... The point button on your numpad that will block inputs to the game and then you can avoid that. But it doesn't matter right now. For now, what matters is that we look at our beautiful mechs walking around. But hey, you could literally turn this into a strategy game. You just have to fix the camera up top here and make everything mouse controlled. I mean, check this out. This runs nicely. This would look good. Literally, this could be a new mech commander. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at me. I found the building that I'm slowly walking through. Slowly smashing through. <laughs> I finally stopped. Well, guys, what else can I say? This has been a lot of fun with this mod. Um, you can do a lot of things. You can check out graphics. You can make your own little wallpapers. You can play around with it. You can find some really, really cool scenes in the game, get some inspiration, and have a closer look at things. So. I recommend you guys try it out, and uh, if you do and you like it, drop me a thumbs up, of course, on this video, leave me a comment down below, and if you want to support my channel, go ahead and check out my Patreon page, the link is below in the description as well. This has been TTB with a camera mod, have a great day guys, take care, I'll see you soon.